Hello, my name is Druvis, and I work at the Microtech Testing Department, where we make sure our boards can perform in the most demanding of scenarios. Recently, I got my hands on our brand new NetFiber 9, and oh boy, is it a great switch for setting up an optical network. It has both SFP and SFP Plus cages, multiple powering and mounting options, and it comes in a sturdy outdoor case. It's perfect for those who like to set up their equipment once and then just forget it. Remember our good old fiber box? Maybe you already own one of those? Well, it doesn't even stand close to NetFiber 9. With a lot more powerful ARM CPU and twice the RAM, a faster, more advanced Marvel Switch chip, an additional 4 10G ports and a PoEIN enabled 1G Ethernet port, NetFiber 9 is quite the upgrade. Let's have a look at it. The case is IP54 rated, which means you don't need to worry about dusty environments with occasional splashes of water. In other words, it's suited to be placed outdoors, however light coverage such as the roof overhang is favorable. Now on the back of it, you'll notice there's a large heatsink, which coincidentally moves the center of mass towards the back where all your mounting options are situated, keeping the board very sturdy once it's affixed. When it comes to the ways it can be mounted, you have several options to choose from. And when you buy it, the package already includes metal hose clamps and screws so that placing it on a wall or a pole is very straightforward. And if you do choose to place it in a hard to reach spot, you could simply use the provided PoE injector in tandem with the 48 volt DC adapter and power your switch through a regular CAT5e Ethernet cable. Let's have a look under the lid. On the left hand side, we have both the DC socket along with a 1G PoEIN Ethernet port. Both of these can be used to feed the device a voltage from a reliable power source anywhere in the range 18 to 57 volts. This RJ45 Ethernet port is not just for management purposes, it has a direct connection to the switch chip, allowing for a full gigabit speed. Above it, there is a console port, and to the right, you have five regular SFP ports followed by additional 4 SFP Plus ports, allowing switching at 10 gigabits per second. When fully set up, devices like this can have quite a few wires attached, and keeping them organized and secured in place can be a problem. And so we have added some little features at the bottom of the case to help you with that too. In the end, if you are interested in setting up networks with connections stretching more than 100 meters between buildings, while keeping data loss and ping low, or you are worried about electromagnetic interference or maybe someone eavesdropping or even tampering with your network lines, then using optical cable is a great solution and NetFiber 9 is a great tool to help you make that happen. And you don't have to break the bank. For the best possible price, you get a powerful switch with 10 ports and a reasonable CPU that can perform some light routing if you really need it. All in an outdoor case with some sturdy mounting points. It's a real bargain. And Microtic, we haven't seen anything like it on the market science fiber box. So there you have it. You have been asking for an optic fiber solutions on the forums and social media, so we had to deliver. If you have any other requests, make sure to let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, contact your local Microtic distributor for more information.